everyone, welcome to another episode of Little Engineers Club. I'm we have with you. us Pragna, Mia, Ishita, and our resident engineer Ankurantar and Vishal. Welcome to the show. And today we all are wearing something new and special. And, what and, it is, Steve? And, and what, what we wearing? We wearing Little Engineers Club T-shirt. Yes, so we all got and some fabulous T-shirt. And kids get. Bling bling. Yeah. Kids get unicorns, big adults get bees. Yeah. And yeah, babies get caterpillars. Babies get caterpillars. Uh, our we, team gets engineers, little engineers get unicorn, and we got bumblebees. Bees. Bumblebees. <laughs> so today we have other interesting gadget, uh, interesting <laughs> things to open. <laughs> Did you want to say something? Yeah? No. Okay. So, um, Let's, Uncle Uncle, let's take it away. So, guys, do you know what this is? Anybody? A can opener? Can opener? Have you guys seen it? No. No. Okay. So, do you, do you want to guess what it does? Opens a can. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Absolutely. That. I knew that also. Yes. Yeah. You can do that. So, so because, we are, uh, because it opens a can, we have to be very careful because it has sharp objects that actually opens it again. If you see, there's a blade here. You guys see that? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so, so uh, team, uh, everyone watching, again, very uh, take extreme caution. The can opener comes with several blades in several directions because it has to open a can, so it has to pierce in several, several directions. So be very, very careful. They are sharp, be, sharp be edges. Be cautious. And you don't want to hurt yourself. Sorry. Be very cautious. Okay. Be very so, cautious you can. So guys, I'll, I'll show you how it works. We won't start it like this, but we'll I'll show you how it works just from here, okay? So uh, anybody wants to guess what this is? You guys have seen something like this. What is it? Gadget? No. What is it? Gear. Yes. This is a this is looks like a gear, right? So we've seen this in the past. It's our old friend gear. And what does gear do? It it makes things work go forward and forward, right? So what it does is, if you guys look here, is the can gets stuck between the blade and the gear, and as the uh, the gear rotates it makes the can rotate and the blade keeps on cutting it and then you can open the can right and then there's a magnet here somebody said something about the magnet you said right and you know what the magnet does here it makes a like float kind of like yeah so see see how it's getting stuck what the magnet does is it sticks sticks to the lid so when you cut the lid it doesn't let the lid fall into the can it holds the lid, lid over there so the lid stays there and the can stays separate. So you have to hold it up. Yeah. So hold on, I'll see if I can make it stuck for you guys. Okay. So the way the can opener works, look. So it will be stuck like this. Ah, it doesn't open. And, open it. and then it rotates, rotates, rotates and open the can. We won't do it here live on TV, okay? And then, but our main goal is to open this thing and see and how I, it works. I have a question for you, Uncle Uncle. Mm -hmm. And maybe uh, we can discuss with the team. We have seen this can all over the place, right? Yeah. Why do we pack a can that we know it's so hard to open that we need a can opener? Why do we, why do we use can or can? Anybody watching, you, anybody watching like a guess? What is it? Can doesn't leak. Yeah, that's a, that's that's a, a very good point. point. It doesn't point. leak. It, you can do like this. It doesn't leak. What else? And it keeps it, and, and it, keeps it warm. It keeps yeah. it not popping out every time. Yeah, it doesn't keep it not popping out. Ishita, you want to make a guess? Um. All right, so I, I'll answer it, okay? So usually uh, the, the way things happen is... they Okay, go ahead, Ishita. Um, Bacteria. Oh, that's very a good. beautiful point. Yes. That's very good, Ishita. So the little engineers team have given us very good answers. Very good answers. They are they're all right answers. It doesn't let it spill. It yeah. creates a good environment to keep the things safe inside. It doesn't spill all over the place. And on top of that, it keeps the bacteria and germs out. So the food inside the can doesn't spoil. So usually what happens is when the cans are packed. They are packed in the ideal condition where you want to keep the food at that condition. And then when you seal it, it maintains those conditions so that food can stay there for a long time. And the can openers, like, it used to be hard to open. Uh, Pari, you have a question? Oh, what is ideal? Ideal means it keeps, 
in the same conditions where food doesn't spoil for a long time. So, so ideal is like you know if it becomes too cold, you start to shiver, right? Yeah. And if it if it gets too warm, you're like oh it's so warm, you start to sweat. So the ideal condition is when it's not too warm, not too cold. Right now we are sitting here. It's not too cold, not too warm, right? So that's the ideal condition. Um, like it's, it's, um, mm -hmm. it, you mean it's like perfect, just right, like just perfect. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like how gold yes. Is yes. One was so cold, one was so hot, and one was just right. Yes. 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 That's exactly. So that's ideal. Ideal means perfect conditions. Okay. So now uh, Uncle Vishal made also the, all the cans used to come like this. So there was no way to open them. So we used to open these can opener things. Now these days cans have these kind of things. So you don't have to use a can opener. You can just pull it like this and it, you can open up the can. They have a cut inside it. But all the old type of cans used to be like this. So you have to use a can opener. Now what I do is I'll dismantle it from here and I'll show you what how basically the blade and things are. But be careful, don't put your hands close to it, okay? So see there are a few parts here. This is a magnet. We talked about the magnet, it holds the lid. Like, like it sticks, um, yeah. a, like mm. uh, there's a screw and then you're putting the screw inside and then it would stick mm. because it's a magnet. Yeah, so this this is a magnet, it holds the lid so that it doesn't fall into the... And I just thought that this is metal because magnets attract metal. Yeah, see that's a good observation. See, yes. see, see this is a metal, it's sticking to it, you guys see that? Yeah. Yeah. So when, the, when we cut the lid, you don't want the lid to fall in. So this. This let stops the lid from falling in. Right? Then, then it goes up instead of down. Yeah. Yes. So you see this sharp blade? This is the one I want you to be very careful. This is the one that cuts the lid actually. Okay? And then there's a there's a chip here as well. It also uh, as you cut the lid it, it brings it up. So make sure that so we'll move this uh, uh, on the side because this is a sharp object, right? Alright. So we'll move the can out of the way. So now we come to this part. The main goal of this part, you guys saw the blade was here like this, right? Yeah. Right? So what this part is the gear, what it does, it holds the can and as the gear moves, it rotates the can. If the can rotates um, like, like this. Like, um, um, like, there's a can holder that makes things spin, like in the Legos we can... Yeah, I can show you. There's, there's a kind of yeah. box. Put your finger here like this. Okay. I'll do one by one. So let's say this was the gear, it was rotating my can, and this was the cut blade. It will cut like this. You see that? Oh, that's so me hold my finger like this. Just hold it still, and the can rotates like this. So it's cutting all around, right? Right. So now this, this thing has to rotate it. Mm -hmm. Can I rotate the gear? Can I rotate the gear? Can I rotate the gear? <laughs> this this is a hard gear to rotate me. You can try, but it's hard. Yeah, it's it. very hard. Can I, can I you have to be careful, okay? I'll it's also try. sharp. Also. Uh, you have to be very careful. You, you can cut your finger, for it. but that, that's fine. Don't put too much. Uh, you, you want to try? Okay, this is a gear, okay? So a gear, uh, we'll, we'll see I what it is. Anybody want to guess how to open it and stuff? There are screws. Yeah. yeah. To open. Go ahead. So, so when we open, pop it. <laughs> Usually when you have in most, in most of the fires, but not on the electrical fires. When there is an electrical fire, you don't want to put water on it. Okay? We'll talk about it. That's, we'll talk about it. that's a great topic, but that's a good topic. Oh, all right. Um, so guys, I'm getting rid of the back panel here. If you guys see the so wires coming in now. So say bye bye to back panel. Bye. Bye bye panel. You have been so nice. Hagi. Our interviews are very compassionate. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Now, now with all advice. Anyway, now. Please, please pay please. attention now. I see a gear that's rotating. Rotate How many that? gears do you see? How many years? Anybody wants to two, guess? Two, two, two. Are you sure? Three. Where's the three? No, no, pointing, just pointing, no touching. The, the yes. white gear, the silver gear, and the gear. And the little gear that silver gear is touching. You see that? Oh. So, so one gear, two gear, and the little silver gear that is touching the other silver gear. You see that? It's oh, so tiny. Yeah, see the tiny gear? Yeah. 
Yeah, so in total we have four gears. Yes. There's three on this side and one's the one that Mia showed us earlier. And you guys, the team, the team found all four gears. That's good. And anybody wants to get what this is? Motor, the motor. Yeah, it's a motor. And then we also motor. are familiar with this thing too, right? We see it every time. Motor. Yes. All right. So let uh, you know how a motor works. Yeah, yeah. We we cannot you try to open everything. Yeah, Oh yeah, no touching it. What is that called? The orange one? Nah, then we cut off the rubber. It's a fitness tracker. Fitness tracker also has. No, it doesn't have a crossover. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Small. Yeah, it's very small. Yeah. It's not big. It's not big as that. But I can't believe that we actually opened a fitness tracker. Alright, now guys, pay attention very closely. Wow, it's coming up! Mia, you so want this to see thing it? is soon coming to go out and we'll see what's going on. Is All this right. a new? Watch very closely now. Yeah, but I do not want to hug that. I know it has sharp edges. And not. And, and uh, to our viewers, as you're seeing that the can opener has a lot of sharp blades, uh, like gears. So whenever you are working with it, use extra caution and, 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 and be very, very safe so that um, you guys don't end up hurting yourself. I'm um, like, one thing that he different to the ending one. All right. Anybody ready to guess what next we're going to see after the mower? What is it? Um, we're going to see... Well, um, Look there, we can brushes, see brushes. brushes. Motor parts, we will see motor yeah, parts, parts, which right. will include brushes, maybe we'll see. Uh, I'm impressed, you guys still remember carbon brushes, nice. Right, maybe we'll those going to be a transformer. Maybe. There's there is, we're seeing one. Yeah, we're seeing one. Oh, our one, our that's that's the that, 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 that one thing that the oh, big wow, one is in. Yes, that's a good point. Yes. Yeah, because like he likes about to say board. But the team found the board. Yes, the team did. It's always about the team. It's always about the team. That's okay. Nice, it's coming off. We are going to see some fun things. No tears. Alright, yes, now, yes. now see. Wow. wow. I'm impressed. You remember this? I'm impressed. Motor? Yes, yes motor, motor, right? This is part of that's the motor. core on the motor. Okay. Yeah, see? And it, this is the gear we were talking about, the little gear. You see that? This is the little gear we were talking about. It looked like little, but it's long, right? Wow. I'm impressed that they have made the whole gear into the, the motor core. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. So, guess, guess what? We found one more gear. So how many gears do you see now? Five. Yeah. Five. So now like what? Five one, in two. Mine age. Yes. Like five in mine. You see, you see why five gears? And one. Not five in my age. Two, no. three, four, and right five. five. Yes. So one, two, three, four, and five. five. So five gears. And we all know how this works, right? We've seen the, uh, it's, it's assembled here, but we've seen the coil inside it. And we know why these slots are there, right? Because it goes around and around like the city. It tries to, tries to chase it. Yeah, remember? like, just like last time I was saying, I'm pregnant, trying to get me and then to bring, she has to jump all over all the sofa. Yes, and then you guys move the, move the gear, right? Yeah, and there's a coil. Anybody wants to guess what kind of coil oh, is inside it? Anybody at the team? Anybody from th from the team wants to guess what Where kind of it, uh, what kind of wire inside it? Red wire, blue wire, white wire. 
What kind of wire? Do you remember what color it used to be? Red, blue, hmm? white, red. It, blue. It's like reddish, goldenish. Golden. It, 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 copper. Copper. Yes. 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 Good copper job. Wire. Copper wire. So there's Copy. usually a copper wire mm -hmm. coil inside it. We can show you if we move the sticker a little bit, but we don't have to destroy it, I guess. Um, and anybody wants to get what this is? These plates? What are they for? Yeah, this is to create a magnetic field. So it will create a magnetic field because when we pass electricity through a magnetic field, what happens? Electric current. Yeah, electric current passes through a magnetic field, it rotates, right? And then that, and that's how the motor rotates. So I think that's all we have. This was a very simple gadget for you guys because you've done, you guys have done way more complicated than this. Yeah. Right? And you also want to, maybe I can teach you something a little bit about the gear here. So see, anybody wants to guess why do we, maybe Uncle Vishal asked, uh, asked me earlier, why do we have to have different type of gears? Do you, do you know why do we have like small one, big one, whatever? Why, why do we have so many gears? Mm, because, because we want, we, we want to move the, the can and a uh, little one is for moving it like fast and mm -hmm. the, the big one is for moving it slow. That's very, very good, Pari. So that's very, and then, that's, and then they, Make a medium size turning around. Yeah, so I think that's a very good answer. So look, what happens is when you pass electricity through this motor, this motor rotates very, very fast. But do we want our can to go like super fast or we want to go it like gently so you can handle it? Gently. Gently. So what happens is when the motor moves this small gear, you guys see when the small gear see the small gear is going super fast, but you see the bigger gear is going small uh, slowly. You see that? Yeah. You see that? You see that? You know what, how? It's like it's like if Mia, uh, Mia and I are walking together. If you and I are walking together, Mia takes like three steps and I take one big step. It's like the same, right? You have to take a lot of steps to uh, walk if somebody's big, right? So imagine if this was like a big guy and this was like a little guy. The little guy would take like four steps and the big guy would take one, right? Right? So that's why the smaller gear takes a lot of lot of rotations and the big gear takes only one, right? So see when I, I can I can mark it here. See if this was the mark, you guys see the mark? You see the mark? Yeah. You see the mark? Yeah. So watch the mark now. Look, when I rotate the mark, so this is one and watch how many times this rotates when I rotate the mark. It's already rotating so many times, right? By the time this mark came over and over with, this little gear had already gone yeah, so many times. Yeah, I saw some crusty thing on here. Yeah, yeah. That's usually grease. That's keeping the gears so they don't have a lot of friction. So a lot but of the heat. It keeps them sticking so they cannot every time pop up. Our friction is actually slow. So team, slow. team, I, I, have, I, have, I have a question for you. Slowly. I have a question for you, team. So why do we, why do we use gear? So we know how gear works and we know but but in the, in these uh, in these items or in, in this in these things, why do we use gear? What what is the special thing that gears do that we say hey why don't just just use it? Okay. Yes. What do you do? They rotate. They rotate. They rotate. But but motor rotates. We can just straightly uh, put 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 the motor and just, and just give motor a very big wheel and then do something. Wow! Well, wow! Well, what if it goes too fast? That's a good point. And too slow. Or too slow. So we, we change speeds with We gears. change speeds. That's a very good point. That's a very good point, engineers. And rotating. So, so if, if, you, if you look at all of our products, right? Uh, if, if you see this one, if you see fan rotating left and right and all these uh, motion. So whenever you need to take motor's energy, a motor's rotation, and pass it on to something else, so we need to use some some better way to sort of take that that motor energy and rotation to some. That's how we use gears. So I have a very important question for the engineers here. Do you guys see any switch on this in this whole thing? Do you guys see any switch on off switch no. anywhere? No. So how do you think we switch on? Do you want to try and look in? Try, try and look. I, I know. Try and look, 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 look. First look. Do you see a switch? No. There has to be a switch. Do you guys see switch? Otherwise, this will be on all the time. Try, try, try. No, that's just a wire. Try playing around. That's a wire. That's just joining wire. I think, um, I think when, well, look, look when at the that. camera... Look at that and see if, if you see one. Do you see anything on the 
Just, no, just try to move anything and see if anything you see like anything switch. else moves. Look like a switch. Mia, you wanna go ahead? Everybody try. Do you see anything that moves? Yes. That's inside. Anything outside? Because the switch has to be outside, right? That's gear. What uh, edge that you wanna see? Yes. No. 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 But there has to be a switch, right? Yeah. Otherwise, it's there a you go. I found it. There you go. We found so, Ishita, Ishita, that's a good teamwork. Press. So that's the switch. Actually, you guys found the switch. Yeah. So now, what yeah, happens is, you guys, you guys notice the wires are going here. You guys see the wires not going here. For well, we'll show people the wires are going here, right? So that's one of the best way to find the switches. See where the wires are going. The wire, wherever the wires are going usually there's a switch, there right? has to be The wires are going there, so this is the switch. So what happens is, when remember that part that I was showing you like here? The, this part? The one that has the blade? The one that has the blade, right? So what happens is, when this part is joined here like this, right? Right? And when you move this down, for the can you move it down, it presses the switch. And then it starts to rotate. And and and, and Nikula, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Why do we have like that? Why do we want it to be open when it's pressed down? So look, usually the can goes here. Let's move some things here. So we can tag everything. So I told you guys the can goes here. Right now, move your hands back, please. We have a blade, something here, right? So the can goes here. I'll point it with the screwdriver, and then we move the blade down. Only when the blade is down and secure, you want the motor to work, right? If we, if we are, if it is, if it is outside, you don't want it to be unsafe and start moving, right? And your fingers get stuck with something, right? So only when this is the can goes here and the blade comes down and it gets stuck, you want this start, thing to start moving, right? You understand, Mia? You understand? Ishita, you guys understand? So, all right. so I'm let me no touching, please. There. Yes, yeah. no touching, please. And I'm let me move the blade out. And now I uh, will go around and I want you guys to explain how the can opener works. Okay. We'll go one by one. Who goes, who goes, we'll let Ishita decide who goes first, first second, and third. Okay, so... I'll let Polly go first, Mia go second, and I'll go third. Okay, Polly, well, you can so explain. explain how this thing works. There the, the are gears that move. This is a... Explain what this guy, what this guy does. Yeah. When this charges the thing, it comes Okay. Up. Okay. Up and then it goes to the gears to spin it. Okay. And it goes. How does down. the gear spin? Yep. Oh, like this. What made what made gear spin? But you be careful, okay? okay. No, no spinning, uh, touching it too much. Air. No. That's okay. Well, that's that's okay. But keep on going. Keep on going. And then from the gear, it goes to the transformer, and the transformer tells that if it's on uh -huh. or off. Okay. And then it goes into this hole and then, mm -hmm. and then it just pops out. <laughs> <So> <laughs> the hole has something in it. It has like a motor in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. Alright. <laughs> that's funny explanation. I know. I'm... Yeah, that's so <laughs> Mia, you're done. Mia, you're done, honey. Okay. And then it goes here and mm -hmm. then... Um, it goes here and then it connects to this wire and then it goes all the way to the switch and then this presses the switch down and it turns on uh -huh. and then the gear starts rotating. Mm -hmm. What um, makes the gear rotate? The, the motor is on and then mm. it starts rotating mm -hmm. and, um, and? and that's it. And then it goes up. I think that's good. That's what it is. That's a good solution. Yeah. Very good. Maybe you can you can add to what Mia did. What is this? Alright, let's see. It's an iPhone. Alright, nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, guys, please listen to what Ishita is saying. Ishita? Okay. So electricity comes in. And then, and then, that's fine, electricity comes in, and then what it does it do? Um, it's very Yeah, by using the motor, right? Right? And then it cuts the... Yeah! 
So, so let's let's summarize from from what you guys told me, okay? So electricity comes in, and then as we explained, it goes to the switch first, and then when the switch is pressed, it comes and rotates the motor, and the mo motor rotates the gears. Yeah, and while the gears rotate, the blade is there, and can starts to rotate, and it cuts the okay. wheel, it cuts the can. Yeah, and then the magnet. Can we open the, the can now? Yeah, we'll we'll put it back together, and then we'll open a can. Okay. Yeah. That was so much fun, wouldn't it? And then we can eat eat what's inside. Maybe. I know. Oh, depending so on guys, uh, yeah. uh, this this concludes this concludes the video I of uh, electrical I can opener. So I, I think. I Three main part of the can opener is motor that that uh, uh, runs the gear and gear and switch that charge that uh, enables the motor that runs the gear that opens the can. So I hope you like the video. Uh, if you may, you have something to say. You have something. I was just saying motor. Okay. So um, I hope uh, you like the video. Uh, thank you so much for spending time with us. I hope it is useful. And, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our channel, like and share with your friends and families. And uh, if you like what we are doing, leave it on comments. We would love to open gadgets that you uh, give us suggestion what you want us to open, and we'd love to uh, include it in our in our future chapters. Stay um, and again, this is uh, in this particular. And, and in almost every experiment, caution is number one thing. Be safe, be secure, always have an adult working on the gadget. And thank you so much everyone for is staying there, with us. Is bigger like 18 or, or, for, or 18 or 20, then you can open it by yourself. So it's always good to have some professionals with you. So till you know what you're doing. In any, anyhow, thank you so much. Uh, Stay I'm awesome. Stay Keep on experimenting and discovering this. things. Yes. Bye bye. Yes. I mean, if you want, to, if you want us to fix anything, then you can just give it to us. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, we'll okay. Or you could also, if you're about eighteen or twenty, they can be the grown up or the professional helping you. That's an, uh, another interesting point. If you if you have uh, adults who know this stuff who want to volunteer. Include them in and have this group activity so we all can learn and have a have fabulous experience. And do share us with your video and, and pictures. We'd love to share it through our channels. Thank you so much and have a great week. See you on the next project.